The Philadelphia School of Circus Arts, located on the corner of Green and Rittenhouse, has a welcoming atmosphere for performers of all ages. When I moved to Philadelphia in 1998, actually, we uh, had bought a house in this neighborhood and we set up a space there to teach circus arts out of our house and out of our backyard. And then in the, um, we just got bigger and bigger. There were more, more and more students that wanted to learn from us and we started finding larger spaces to work from. So this space opened in 2000 and, I'm losing track of the dates now, 2008 we opened the school and it's been here now, so our seventh year. There are classes daily, ranging from juggling to aerial silks. Well, my favorite part is being on the floor and seeing students have their moments of joy and discovery. It's, uh, it happens here every day. And nowadays, as the owner of the school, I spend far too much time in the office, but I still really enjoy the, uh, the moments actually working with students. Uh, well, I was, I was 29 when I started Circus. It was at, uh, a little more than seven years ago. And I never thought I would do this, to be honest. I was, my husband and I went to a show like a juggling show in, in the old, what well, is the old space of this studio. And um, they were, they did all this really cool juggling and we, and we said, what else happens in this space? Thinking we, we could just, you know, come to shows here or whatever. And, um, and they said, and the juggler said, well, my wife teaches circus classes here. And I said, and he, says, he said, she teaches aerials classes. And I said, I could never do that because I'm not strong enough and I've never had any upper body strength or anything. And um, then, you know, somehow I got into a conversation with Shana, who is the person who owns this place, and um, she convinced me to try it. She said she like convinced me that you know actually I could try it, and uh, I tried it, and I got really hooked. My favorite part about circus, wow, I think is the idea of traveling and meeting new people and getting to work with um, beautiful artists my favorite part about circus. The idea that like I could go to Dubai and have a home or a couch to sleep on just because we are of the same mind, um, which is like circus. Um, yeah. artist that teaches at the school, works on her trapeze routines during the day. She recently traveled to Europe to perform this routine in a competition. During rehearsal, she ran into some problems with her costume. Okay, before you're, before you're back to service, there's this point where I could see you your see back because you're upside down. Remember? Yeah, like yeah. And right. And you're upside down. I could see this is where the bar was. Right. And this is where the skirt, skirt goes. goes. And that's okay. why I was so just an inch or two under where the bar was. Okay. So you were fine. Okay. Like there was no way that that could have And the only when when you said it's caught, I thought, did she move down or something? Uh, like did she did the bar move? Uh, and so there's nothing. I was like looking at it. It just gave me like, like a bigger wedgie than normal, and I was like, oh, that's it. Like wrapping up and getting caught. It's an act on its own to like, okay, skirt flips up now. Move it this way. Do that. So. It's my least favorite part, actually. <laughs> I choreograph all of my own pieces for the most part. Right now I do a lot of freelance work, so it's just one-off gigs. Um, so I try to choreograph it for the event or for what my employer wants. Locks, um, there's just different ways of doing hand balancing. So there's, uh, you can do, um, you can do it on the floor, you can do it on like a mat, you can do um, it on blocks, we sometimes use benches. It's not that the blocks are necessary for hand balancing, they're just um, another way of doing hand balancing, but the blocks feel a little bit different. They feel like it's sometimes easier to balance on the blocks. During their time here, the students explore new boundaries and discover things they never knew they could do. You know, I remember a long time ago going to a Cirque du Soleil show and seeing people like acrobats and um, aerialists and stuff doing really cool things. And 
it just felt like that would be a really impossible thing. And here I get to kind of test the impossible for myself. I get to push myself beyond what I ever thought I could do. And so